This is Lamor Schaffman here for RCR Wireless at the Wearable Technology Conference, and I'm here with Uri Kehin from Sport Tracker. Uri, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. So, tell us a little bit about Sport Tracker first. What does your company do? Well, we are at the uh, Wearable Technology Expo, and for, for days we hear about uh, companies developing devices, and these uh, companies talk about embedding sensor technologies into uh, their devices. This is what we do. We are a technology company developing uh, optical-based uh, sensors, and what we've developed is a sensor that, this is the sensor. Okay, let this me zoom in here, let me see, all righty, I got it. Okay, so this is the size of a very small <coughs> device that, actually it's a chip that can be embedded into any wearable device. So basically we're bringing uh, optical sensors into the consumer wearable uh, device market. Explain optical, optical sensors to me because I'm not sure I know what that is. Okay, what we do is that we use light technology. This is very similar to radar. <coughs> we shoot light into the body, we collect the return signal, and based on that, we analyze and extract uh, vital information. Information, information such as heart rate, uh, calories, very accurate calorie count, uh, stress level, and more and more. This technology has been used in the medical market for many years, but it is a huge challenge to bring this technology into the consumer market. We, as a technology company, are developing this technology for the past three years and we brought it into a level that can be used in the consumer market. And what does that mean? Is it the simplicity of the chip? Is it the size of the chip? What does it mean that it's ready for the consumer market? Great questions. <laughs> Usually when you take technology, let's say from the consumer market into the medical market, this is where the challenges are. With this technology, the challenge is to take something that works in a lab condition, such as a hospital, and implement it in uh, the, war, the war zone, which is the uh, consumer market. What is the consumer market? Consumer conditions is changing lights, uh, it's motion, running. <clears throat> this is the application. For example, one of the most complicated areas in the body to measure heart rate is here, and our customers are re requesting that we measure heart rate accurately from the wrist. So it's the location of the measurement. It's the size of the, uh, of the sensor, uh, susceptibility to motion, susceptibility to light, uh, size factor, it needs to be embedded into small uh, wearable devices and one of the most complicated things is power consumption. It needs to run on the battery for many many hours. Mm -hmm. So all these are huge challenges that until now we're not, uh, no one was able to solve these uh, problems to a level of accuracy that we did and that's that's what uh, this is our claim for fame. Okay, that's wonderful. So do you have any use cases or any pilots that you can talk to us about about how the technology is being currently used? <coughs> okay, this <laughs> sensitive question because we have customers now and one of the things that I can say that this is a very exciting time for a sport tracker because our technology was benchmarked by the leading consumer electronics companies, by the leading sports brands, and we're in the process of signing deals now. So this is a very exciting time for a, for a sport, sport rocker. And these companies were able to identify our uh, differentiation. Interesting. And the differentiation is, for those of us who, again, is it the, what is the differentiation? Rather it's than all the things that I yesterday. said. It's the uh, accuracy, okay. the power consumption, mm -hmm. the susceptibility to motion, which means that we cancel uh, motion artifacts, and more and more. This is our, uh, our expertise is in combining hardware and software to develop uh, this uh, solution and bring it to market. And so what companies are going to be doing, they're going to be taking your solution, embedding it within their own technology product that they have in mind, and then working with you, but they're the ones that are taking on the product design of their product, all the other aspects of it. Is that true? How do you work with companies? What are you actually offering and where do they come into the mix and how do you work together? Okay, you're asking great questions. <laughs> Our expertise, we are a technology company. Mm -hmm. And all these companies, which are consumer companies, know how to design and develop products and they also know the customers. So this is our expertise is in taking and bringing the technologies as, as a plug-in solution, meaning that you take a device, an existing device, and all you need to do is take our chip, plug it in, and now you have all these accurate uh, heart rate monitoring uh, data. Great. And if they want to cover other different kinds of data, then you can configure the chip to sense different kinds of things, is that how it would work? This is great, this is great. The PPG 
This is the, called the PPG technology, which is an optical-based technology, and the potential of this technology is high. There are many applications that can be developed based on this uh, uh, signal. One of them is heart rate. Mm -hmm. We have many more. Uh, can you uh, give us some hints as to the other ones? Sure. Uh, blood pressure uh, and so on and so forth. There are many different holy grails that we are mm -hmm. planning to uh, develop algorithms. And these are mainly software algorithms. Fantastic. So I see right here you actually have an application that's capturing some kind of data. Can you tell us what we're seeing here on the laptop? This is correct. What we are displaying is actually the, uh, the uh, signal that is being uh, monitored in real time. And because yeah. the questions are so difficult, you can see that my heart rate is very high. <laughs> So you can see my heart rate he's here. He's telling the truth, folks. You know he's telling the <laughs> truth. <laughs> so my heart rate is uh, in the 50s, so I'm really not stressed. <laughs> this is great. Very cool. And so this kind of information, though, with these consumer products could be used for, can be put on a cell phone. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just a display. Long, yeah. So whatever's being captured, the developers can develop whatever kind of interface they want, show what other ki whatever kind of data they want to show in a particular time, the way the user wants to interface with that data, et cetera, et cetera. Is that this is correct. If we look at the uh, wearable uh, device market now, most of the devices are base their information on accelerometer. These are motion sensors. And these most motion sensors provide very basic information. Uh, even calorie count is not really accurate because let's say that two people are the same age and one is fit and the other is not, and they will probably have the same calorie count. Mm -hmm. And the only way to really accurately measure calories, for example, is using uh, heart rate. If you talk about stress level, you talk about many different uh, uh, aspects of your uh, health, these are indications that we can provide to people so that they can live a much healthier lives. Mm. And this is integrated into their other wearable uh, devices, such as a watch, for example. Imagine everyone is wearing a watch, so now this watch is going to be uh, your health monitor. Okay, so it will not only provide, give you time, mm. it will actually give you a lot of, provide you a lot of parameters which are related to your health, so you can live a much better and healthier life. So now, do you think, just moving, look, let's take a look at the marketplace now for a second. Do you think health and fitness are the way that wearable technologies are going to increasingly penetrate the consumer mind share? Is that the, is that the path that you're going to you anticipate happening? Okay. We see three uh, segments in the market. One, which I will leave off, is the medical, which we decided at this point not to deal with. And there are two other uh, market segments. One is the... Uh, sports and well-being and there are many wearable uh, devices out there so we see ourselves uh, in this uh, game and there are millions of devices being sold so there's huge potential there to embed our uh, technology into these devices but the next uh, market that we see which is very exciting is the infotainment infotainment meaning the smart watches mm -hmm. the smart watches what we think are not only uh, let's say devices which are social or, or devices which are connected to mobile applications. They are a convergence of these types of functionality but also of consumer health. And if you embed sensors into smartwatches, now you have both. You have a social device or an accessory, but you also have a health gauge or a health monitor. This is where we can transform the smartwatch into a health gauge. Right. So you think that those two come, are going to really come together and consumers are going to actually really want that? We think so because we think that uh, smartwatch is not enough, is not enough uh, as a functionality to have only the infotainment and you need something else for people to really want it. So now if you add the health aspect and the sports aspect, now there's a good reason for people to buy yet another screen which is the, the uh, wrist held screen. So now if companies, if, any, if anybody wants to come and visit you and find out more information, how should they be in contact? Okay, uh, we have a website which is www.sportracker.com. That's easy. Okay, yes, it is. you heard it. Okay, folks, you saw it here. Uri is just giving us a great demonstration of a simplicity of a chip using some really innovative technology. And hopefully, we're going to see this embedded in products coming out maybe at the beginning of next year. We'll hope that's for correct. that. Actually, okay. That's correct. All right, all fingers crossed. Uri, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you. Thank you very much.